Breaking news this morning, Governor Mike DeWine's office has confirmed Intel will be building a massive computer chip plant in the New Albany area. NBC4 broke the news last week after the New Albany annexed more than 3,000 acres from Jersey Township. NBC4's Alan Henry is live from the newsroom for us this morning. Alan, what are some of the details that the governor's office just shared? Well, good morning, Matthew. We're getting a better idea of just how big this announcement will be. Governor DeWine's office is calling it a mega project and says it will be the largest single private sector company investment in Ohio's history. Now, Intel will invest more than $20 billion into building two new state-of-the-art computer chip plants. Those plants will create more than 20,000 new jobs in Ohio, including 7,000 construction jobs and 3,000 Intel jobs that pay more than $135,000 a year. Now, on top of that, there will also be tens of thousands of additional indirect and and support jobs, including contracted positions, electricians, engineers, and of course, jobs in restaurants, healthcare, housing, and entertainment. Now, the plant will be built on more than a thousand acres of that land that New Albany just annexed. New Albany's mayor compared the Intel news to another major investment a big company made in the state of Ohio. It uh, reminds a lot of people about when the state of Ohio was able to attract Honda of America. Um, it's not just Honda of America, it's all the other suppliers and providers that will also grow that entire community. And I think Ohio has done a great job over the last uh, several years of transforming ourselves uh, to being the place uh, where big tech wants to call home and work. And in a statement, Intel CEO also commented on the news saying, quote, we are excited to call Ohio home to Intel's first new manufacturing site in 40 years. We expect Intel Ohio will become one of the largest semiconductor manufacturing sites in the world over the next decade. Now, the plant is expected to start construction this year and be operational by 2025. Of course, there's a lot to unpack with an announcement this big. We're going to have the latest throughout the day today on our website, NBC4i.com. In the newsroom, Alan Henry, NBC4.